A man called John Arntz has been the director of elections in the city of San Francisco for two decades. Before Arntz took over, elections in this city were a bad joke. People would routinely find ballot boxes floating in San Francisco Bay. So Arntz cleaned up the whole election process, and no one really denies that. But this week, San Francisco's elections commission fired John Arntz. Why? Well, they did it because he had the wrong skin color, and they admit it. As Elections Commission President Chris Jerdonek told Arntz, quote, our decision wasn't about your performance, but after 20 years, we wanted to take action on the city's racial equity plan. So that's illegal. You're not allowed to fire people in the United States under federal law and state law in every state because of their skin color. And we have an entire civil rights division at the Justice Department that exists to prevent things like this from happening. And we had an entire civil rights movement designed to make sure the people were never fired because of their skin color. And yet no one's saying a word. Barack Obama, Jonathan Greenblatt of the ADL, our self-appointed moral superman, the NAACP, not a word. No one's paid them to complain yet. Bob Woodson experienced firsthand the civil rights movement. He's founder and president of the Woodson Center. He joins us now. Mr. Woodson, thank you so much for coming on. So if you wind up in a Thanks place where it's... Me, Tucker. Well, of course, if because you've just seen both ends of this. If you wind up back in a country where it's okay to say, I'm firing you because of the way you look, it kind of seems like maybe the last 60 years were for nothing. It, re it really does, Tucker. It, it's, and it's insulting and it's degrading. In fact, what progressives are doing, they have hijacked the, uh, the, the rich legacy of the civil rights movement and using it as a bludgeon against the values of this nation, when in fact, yeah. It was those same values that enabled black America to survive slavery and discrimination. In one right. sense, uh, we are worse off now in the last 50 years than we have the first 100 years after uh, doing Jim Crow. Because yeah. the crisis facing America is, is one of values. It is not race. Well, and of course, the civil rights movement was driven by and led by faithful Christians, Christian ministers, and that whole component. And of course, slavery was abolished by Christian ministers. I, I never hear that. It's been like completely flipped on its head. No, you really don't. And you know, I, I make the case when they just denigrate the, the nuclear family and also Christian faith. You know, there's a test uh, uh, that I try to apply to people. If you are run out of gas, at 10 o'clock at night in a high crime neighborhood and the gas station is two blocks away. And you have the option of confronting two groups of people, uh, 10 men who came around the corner uh, and they had just left the bar and 10 other men who came around just left Bible study. Which group would you want to confront? <laughs> Even atheists don't name their children Judas. <laughs> No, and so they people don't. instinctively know <laughs> people instinctively know that these values are, are important. And when we're talking about violence and the disorganization that exists in our centers, Tucker, it doesn't exist all over. If you were to go to, to religious uh, enclaves in this country, uh, you will see that there is order. There is respect for family. You don't see drug addiction out of wedlock births. And if you go to any Orthodox Jewish, Muslim, or Christian community like the United, uh, uh, and, and you will see these values that enabled uh, black America to survive slavery and discrimination still in, in place. But we don't focus on the, the, the value component of these communities and the fact that there are healing agents there that, that have the capacity to transform and redeem these communities. But what we're up against is the race grievance industry, and they have hijacked, they demonize uh, the family, they demonize our Christian values, and that's why what the Woodson Center is doing, we are pushing back because we must de-racialize race. And these civil rights leaders are complicit in their silence but I saw a, a white woman with a Black Lives Matter T-shirt on beating a black woman, pushing a baby because she was in a Trump rally. And yet the civil rights leaders were silent about that. I know. I'm sorry to laugh. It's so grotesque. It's unbelievable. 
Bob Woodson, who has seen it all. Great to see you tonight. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.